in your praise. Or specifically, your praise is holding your victory yes, Lord. in its hand. What is it that you're waiting for God to unlock? What is it that you're waiting for God to do for you? What way is it that you're waiting for God to make for you? There are some things that only God can do. There are some blessings that only God can unlock. And the thing about our generation is we're so smart. We're so intellectual. We have everything. We have good jobs. We have degrees. We have money. And so because we have these things, we think that we don't need to praise God like we used to. I remember back in the day, sometimes praise was all the old saints had. I remember when I was young, when I first got the Holy Ghost, I was in the world assemblies of restoration. And I remember the old saints would tarry and they would praise God. And sometimes without end, it would go on for hours and hours. And nobody said, I gotta go to work in the morning. Nobody said, I got class, I got homework. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about the things I've said since the Lord has blessed me. And it's something about us that we have to get back to a posture of praise and adoration. If that's 
against you. I want you to stand all over this place. But only if you're believing for something that you know only God can do. Only if you're believing for something that you know only God can do. And when you have that thing on your mind, I want you to link up with one person. And I want you to grab one person by both hands. I don't care if you cross the aisles. I don't care if it's the person who you're sitting next to. But I want you to find somebody who looks like they're really going to pray for you. I want you to find somebody who looks like they're believing God with you. I want you to find one person and take them by both hands. And for the next 60 seconds, I want you to intercede on the last Sunday of the year on their behalf.